This is a video on a 48 foot mason that hasn't been built yet. This is a mass that was engineered to this boat. This is a hinged mizzen, and the main is also hinged. It's a two-piece mast. I'll walk down and show the other parts of it, side of it. I can keep from upsetting the bees here. There's the top of the main, and there's the bottom of the main, also hinged. Top of the mizzen. Over there is the mason. feet and pile the parts out here by it so that I can show you the parts. Those there are the rudder, two pieces. Spreaders. Uh, mass supports for the inside of the boat. Miscellaneous parts that came with it. More miscellaneous parts that came with it. This here is, uh, I believe, what the those two pieces of the rudder connect to to make the rudder complete. This is the basis for the main and the mizzen so that you can uh, raise and lower the mast yourself to go under bridges, chain plates, more miscellaneous parts. Rub rail, I don't know if it's enough for the whole boat or not, not a clue, but that's what that is. Go over here to the mason, get a little better shot of that, I guess. This boat sat in the water for 20 years without a bolt being put in it. Um, had no bilge pump in it, just closed up. Had less than a couple inches of water in it. Um, massive boat, the interior is completely empty. There's nothing put in it, nothing screwed in it, no bulkheads, no rooms, no floor. There's nothing in there. It's like a brand new hall inside. Again, with it being set in the water, 20 plus years there's some blistering and I would assume that this would be an example as all of it uh, for 20 years it doesn't look that bad to me but Been on the hard here for about two years now. So,
For a boat that sat in the water untouched for 20 years, I find it absolutely amazing. I'm going to let my nephew Dylan go up and show you the top side of it. And, uh,. Maybe the inside too, if he can get in there. <laughs> 